grateful that you were here. Again, I'm really grateful that you were here. It's a, a fellowship that I wanted to um, to start, and I've been working with him for some time. We met through the It Matters TV broadcast. Amen. Amen. And um, God had had him on my mind like a lady last night. It's the first time we ever seen all these preachers this week. The first time I see these are guys, people, people that God placed on my heart. Tomorrow night we have a young man from the old poor, I think, up in Davy, an apostle that's coming in tomorrow. Amen. The fellowship with us. Amen. We are celebrating my 26th birthday. <laughs> They encourage me to turn 10, 26 for the next 10 years. Somebody say amen. amen. You know, as old as you feel, someone say amen. Amen. I'm so grateful that, that you were here. We're going to try to get to the word, but I do have to make some acknowledgments. Amen. There is my best friend. Amen. Our first lady. Amen. They said we wouldn't make it. They said we wouldn't be here tonight. Amen. amen. How many of you all know friend does everything? I love helps a whole lot too. <laughs> Amen. But thank you, baby, for all the years. I certainly want to acknowledge the first lady from the Wake Fellowship. Amen. All of you leaders and gentlemen are over here. And those who are not here, but I'm not going there tonight. Somebody say, Amen. There's a special person in the place now, you know, that I'm going to give this testimony because some of you know it from general about it if you don't. You know, my journey started uh, towards pastoring when I was hooked on drugs. I wasn't just hooked on drugs, I had a drug spirit. On, some of y'all just have, some people have drug habits. I had a drug devil. Somebody say amen. amen. There's no way I was getting out of that. But God connected me with this man of God right here. Amen. Pastor Walker. ministry and a gift and we was at New Birth and he was over the prison ministry, amen? amen? And he would have me preaching every time we went to prison. I didn't know he was liking the message. I thought he was liking me. Somebody said amen. But <laughs> <laughs> he would have me preaching. We developed a relationship driving every day and going down there to preach to those prisons on Monday nights in the close confinement. Do you remember that? They wouldn't even let people go in there, but we went in and took the word and the guys were getting saved. And, amen. Amen. And we would go every Saturday and have church down there. They, built, they even built a sanctuary down there. They went through our going down there to have church. And they, had, they built a full sanctuary. But Reverend Walker um, gave me a word, amen, uh, for prosperity. Because he's a prosperity man, if you look at the MNC, amen. But he, he, he gave me a pattern for prosperity. And I don't know who needs to hear this, but you need to always be careful when God sends you a word. When it's an anointed person, you don't know who or when it's going to come from. He was not my pastor. He was a preacher in the same church at the same level I was. I was being treated differently because they knew I was getting high. Somebody say, man. <laughs> but, but he believed in what he saw God doing in my life. And he gave me some scriptures. There were 12 scriptures he gave me for prosperity. And I was so desperate, my wife would be a witness. I took those scriptures and changed some things around and inserted deliverance. Mm, Y'all are ready for this here. Yeah, yeah because everybody won't be lazy about this thing. So they did not all fall out of the sky, man. And I put in God's promises of deliverance where he had the prosperity. And I sat in my house for four months and put that thing before God and switched before God morning, noon, and night. That was my job. And after I've gone to 17 or 18 treatment centers, including the best one in the United States, ended up in a homeless one. That's how, the, that's how far I fell down. But those scriptures before God have me standing here today. And God listened to me. Well, I don't understand. So you maybe you're never going to come home. Maybe you're never going to be desperate about saying you're going to be amen. And then, ah, oh, shut up. You're in the presence of that person. You have to go down the honor them and say thank you. Amen. Thank you for believing when the church rejects. Matter of fact, they want to fire him for believing in me. They canceled a whole uh, conference at the prison because he told them I was preaching. And they said no. They canceled the whole thing. Sometimes people believe in you to the point that God gives them grace to believe in you. So you all with me here? And as a result of that, here I am today, 15 years pastoring a very um, grateful, delighted people, a powerful group of people. I love you all, amen? Amen. And, and thank you to Wade for being here tonight. I really am grateful that you're here. We're going to get to introduce our speaker now.
Amen. I met him, like I said, through the, the TV program. We were sitting down one day over at um, Pastor Greg's church, and I just liked his spirit. Now, y'all know I don't bring a whole lot of people in here to talk to y'all. Somebody say amen. 